Hello, now we are going to tackle the Saturn cube. Uh, so Saturn is the next stop in the second of the Jovian planets, which are the gas giants. Uh, Saturn is interesting in that the main feature that stands out are, of course, its rings. So you've got uh, rings that orbit around the entire side, which is why on one side, on one plane, plane rather than side, um, all of the sides are bandaged as opposed to a top side and a bottom side which are not. Despite the fact that it's the second largest planet in the solar system, it only has one-eighth of the density of the Earth. Which means, because it's so much less dense, if you were to put it in a bathtub um, the size of larger than Saturn and uh, filled it with water, it would actually leave a ring. Nah, it's a little astronomical joke, but anyway, it would actually float. So it makes for very, very challenging solves, as this uses a very different strategy than the other cubes. So, without further ado, hocus pocus. And we have ourselves a pretty good scramble. Okay, so the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my bandaged si uh, my non-bandaged sides, in my case either the white one or the yellow one, and I'm going to get my cross, where it's going to consist of both my inner edge and my outer edge. And I'm going to use the opposite bandage side to, uh, uh, to do that. So what my technique is going to be is quite simply take the outer white edge, put it back here, and just start moving things into position. So I'm going to find a white middle right over here. Now I'm going to put a blue one in, just move it down and up and find a blue, find a blue. Now, the blue that I'm gonna find can't just be any old blue, it has to fit a certain criteria. And that criteria is it has to be within the plane of the blue center. So here, 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 or here, here. So in this case, I don't have that, and if I don't have that, I have to use one from the top here. So I'm just gonna move it down and up. This will go here. Now here's why I can't use this. This blue is here, but I can't, I'll can't. i never be able to move it into where I've got to move it into. But if I put it in this blue here, I can move it into this center and then move it down. So it has to be within the plane that I can move it into my center. So here's another example. Here's the another white over here. Move this up, find a white inner piece to move it into. Here's one here, move it down move this up. So let's find an orange. Orange, orange. Here's an orange right here, but it's not the right orange, so I can't use that. It's not in the plane of my uh, orange center. So here, no, here, no, here, yeah, got this over here. So what I'm going to do is move this orange up, move this across here, then I can move it down, and then move it in. So now I've got these two here. So here's another one. We'll put this white one in. Now I'm going to find a red one. I'll bat this up here. Here's a red, and it's in the right plane. Put it here, down, and across. Um, looks like I batted that out, so I'm going to put that back in over here. So I'm going to move it down and up. Move this across so I can move this red and white back down. So move this up, across, move this white back down. So now I'm going to move it up to a green, find a green, this green qualifies, move it across, down, and in, and everything I batted out, I just put back in. So I went through that kind of quickly, looks like I messed this red up, so I'll just solve that back again. Nope, oh, wrong red. This is the red I want. Okay, so I went through that kind of quickly because it's pretty intuitive. We have our first cross, and now we're going to go to our next one, which is filling these edges here. Now, because I have less degrees of freedom, that means I have less entropy. So thermodynamics are not on my side, because as I'm trying to create more order, I've got to work harder to do that, as I have less degrees of freedom, as I might mess this side up. So what I'm going to do to serve that function is I'm going to put my outer and inner uh, edges uh, in. So I'm going to find all the edges that don't have yellow in it. So there's this over here. This is already lined up with a green, so I, I have to find an orange. An orange that fits the right qualifications. In other words, in the line of the orange center, so it's over here. So it's really just a matter of we'll move this down here, move this up, move it in, move it down. 
So now you can see this is fine, but this is in the wrong place. I got to move this over here. So how am I going to do that? And this gets to our major algorithm, the main thing that we're going to be using to solve this cube. And that's the algorithm to put this over here and this and then over here. So literally just jump and leapfrogging it like that without messing anything else up. And it's a pretty easy commutator slash algorithm. Holding it over here to move this up here, we just do a series of F and L moves or F and R moves, depending on the direction that you want to go. So in this case, it'll be F I L F L I. So just inverted it, that put it up here. To put it down here, same thing. F I L F L I. So we managed to put it here and we didn't mess these guys up. So this next part is kind of fun. We just go through that process. Here's a red and a blue. So I'm going to find, well, here's a red up here. So it's going to be easy enough for me to move this up to meet the red. And then I'm going to move that back down. Now I've got to rotate this to where the blue is facing up. To do that, I'm going to move this to here and then this to here where the blue is now going to be facing up using exactly that same algorithm. So holding it here, F I L F L I, it puts it here, do it one more time, F I L F L I, and here it is over here and I didn't mess anything up. So now I gotta find a blue, here's a blue here, is it the right blue? No, not in the right plane. So I have to find a blue either here, here, or here. If I don't find that, I have to borrow one from these top sides here. Uh, if I don't find one over there, then I have to move one in, I have to move one in, into the top side. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, move this into the position that I want. I need a blue up here, so I'm going to go ahead and move this up like this so that I can move it into position, move it back here, and then move it down. So now I have this in the position that I want. You can see that, that I've got a blue here, but it's, um, it's not going to work. So I'm going to move this to the side move it up, being cognizant that I put the white one out here, move this down here, and move it down. And then of course we have to, so, I, I, well, I, I put this where it wants to be, but I gotta put this white one back. So now I have this in the middle that we want, and we just do our algorithm to move this to here. To move it from this angle, we just do the opposite of, our, uh, of, of that com commutator, which in this case is gonna be F, R, I, F, I, R. So that moves it back over here, so we've got these two solved. Now we have to fill in these guys. Here's the green and red. So let's find what we can use up here. We've got a green up here. So I'll move this up, move it across so it greets it, move this back down. Now I need to rotate this up so that the red is facing up. I'm going to go this way because there's nothing here to mess up. Do it once so it's at the side. Do it twice so it's facing up. So now I'm going to find a wayward red in the right plane. No, no, yeah, but it's being used, so I can't use that one. So I'm going to have to use this red one over here. Let's move it to a place that I can easily do that. How about over here? So I'm going to go down this way. Can't go this way. I'm going to go down this way. I'm going to go up, move it twice so that it's here, then I'm going to go down. So that's in the right place. Um, now this white one I've got to move back in. So that moves these back in here. Now this gets moved here by that same algorithm. F, R, I, F, I, R. So we've got these in line. We have one more to go. So let's find our, cent uh, our, our outer edge and it's right here. We'll just move this into an orange. So now we have to put the blue one up. Do we have a blue one here? Uh, well, no, so we have to do a little bit of finagling. In the meantime, let's just put this up. Nothing new here. Okay, so now this is up where it needs to be and this is protected. So I can move this around, no problems. So let's find a blue. We're going to use this blue, move it up to greet this guy. So down and up, greets it, and then move it back. And then we have to move this white one back down here. And then it's just a matter of flipping this over here. And there it is here. All right, so this red one got punted out, but we can easily put that back in. Here's a red one that's needed. So we'll move this up, across, and down. So this solves our second layer here. So we've got this cross here, and we've got all of this solved, and now we're ready to move on to the top layer.